Hello. Uh, in this video, I'm going to illustrate how to use uh, Spring and Maven in Eclipse. Uh, I'm going to use the, the Eclipse wizard uh, to create a Maven project. So I clicked on New, Other. I'll choose the Maven project here. Next, I'll select uh, Create a Simple Project. Use default workspace location. Click on next. Sp need to specify the group ID. Group ID should be unique across all projects uh, to enforce naming schema. Uh, for this test purpose, I'll just use com dot test artifact ID is the jar file name without the jar extension. Call it uh, Maven test. Uh, Maven test 2 because I already have Maven test here. I click on finish. What this did, it, it created a blank Maven project. And the important thing here is uh, the pom.xml. Any Maven project will have a pom.xml. So this is a blank pom.xml where uh, you have the group ID which should be unique and then your artifact ID which is the jar and then the version number. So it created this blank uh, POM file for this project. Now I'm going to uh, switch over to this Maven test project which I had already created earlier so that I can show you what I have in this POM.xml here. Now in this example uh, we are going to use Spring. It's a simple Spring example. So uh, for that we need to use the Spring jars and that is what you can specify in this pom.xml or the dependencies for your project. So that's the goal and purpose of this pom.xml file to specify you know all the all the all the jars that that your project is going to be dependent on. So because this is a simple project uh, with a spring example so we need spring core so that's one of the dependency and the second one is spring context so those are being specified here the group ID is org dot spring framework the artifact ID is spring core and for the next one the artifact ID is spring context one very important thing here is you can specify the exta exact version of the jar that you need. So you can specify the version here. Since we are using the version multiple times as you can see so I created this property called spring version and we are specifying the exact version here 3.2.3 .3 release and then we are simply using this property here. So this is nothing but spring.3.2.3 .3 release. So that's a simple POM file with the with the spring dependency. So we have it there now. Uh, next uh, we are going to create a simple bean, a test service. It's a very simple uh, Java class with just one property uh, name and then the, the get method and the set method for that and <clears throat> a simple method uh, say hello to say hello uh, name so that's the uh, bean the test service class that I'm going to use for for doing a simple test of this and now we need to uh, define this this bean in a in a context file because it's a spring application so for that under resources I have created this application context.xml where we define this bean that I just, just showed the test service so the bean ID is test, test service and it's using this class com test service test service please note that we are uh, setting this property name with the initial value of uh, learner so I have my spring bean and my spring context file ready. So now uh, 
we can we can simply uh, invoke the this hello method in this test uh, service from so I created this this test class for that for testing the our our spring bean so what we are doing here is we are uh, creating the application context using class path XML application context so it, it loads the, the context file and it creates this application context and once you have the context and then you can you know get any sp spring managed bean from from the context so we are getting back the the test service bean here by doing context.get bean once we have that now we can invoke any method on on the on this uh, test service class so we're calling the say hello method it's storing that in message and then printing that we again set it to spring and printing that again so if I simply run this now as an application the Java application so as you can see it it printed uh, hello learner and and spring and so uh, now this was a very simple example but the the, the main idea here is uh, you know to to explain how how you know maven makes it so much easier uh, to manage the the dependencies and as you can see in this project there is no separate you know lib folder with the jar so based on on the dependencies that that we specify in the, in the pom.xml uh, maven uh, automatically gets the the specific jar so in this case it's spring core and spring context and and few other uh, you know jars that that it that it needs so it, it can automatically figure those out and it it downloads that and it will put it in the in the local m2 folder and then eclipse is you know simply able to use the jars from there and that's why uh, you don't need to download any any jars uh, separately maven maven is automatically managing that for you and and making things much much easier and also um, it's very easy to to change version so in case you need to upgrade to a future version uh, all you have to do is uh, come and edit this uh, pom.xml and specify a different version that you need so uh, yeah this was a very simple example of how to use uh, you know maven with spring uh, hope it was helpful thank you for for watching this video